with the last and final part of the I guess all my mail day recaps got a lot to get through so I'll try to speed it up um, I got three cards in from Panini well one of them was a redemption finally I'm really excited to show you guys this redemption card I've been waiting for it for a while uh, the other two were from the Panini point system uh, if you haven't heard uh, Panini finally updated their list of cards of uh, I guess through the Panini point system and what was very troublesome and bothersome I guess to see was that they uploaded not uploaded I'm sorry they put one of ones on there one of ones of players uh, of certain of uh, from certain sets like from preferred uh, national uh, not national treasures uh, immaculate on there and you would think that they would put one of ones on in the product that you would think they would be live and unfortunately they're on the point system which is kind of retarded it's stupid um, but I don't know, I guess that's just how the hobby is, unfortunately. Uh, I totally disagree with the whole Panini Points thing. It's a, it's a rip-off, total rip-off from them. I don't know why they do it. Um, but anyways, this is what I got from them. Nice Kevin McHale autograph, number 75. And also picked this up as well. And yet, a very nice Giannis Antetokounmpo from this year's Preferred. Beautiful on-card autograph, uh, very nice card. Really like it a lot. Uh, so pick those up for the for the points. Uh, th I think those were 400 points each. And uh, last but not least, this is a redemption that came in. Uh, so happy uh, to get in. It's just a beautiful card, stunning card to look at in person. From 1314 Select. Uh, if you check it out, there, nice on-card autograph. Of the big diesel Shaquille O'Neal. Now this car may not look great on camera but in person it is just something you gotta look at. Beautiful beautiful card. Um, okay let's go ahead and do my blowout card stuff. So here we go. Uh, I picked this nice Jason Kidd up from Exquisite. Nice on card autograph. Purchased that from a member on the blowout card forums. Extremely cheap price. I still can't believe how low Jason Kidd autographs sell for now. Um, also picked these up. Been wanting to pick these up for a long time. The Crazy Eights book set from Preferred. They finally made one to, for the Spurs, obviously. Now uh, they had to show them a little bit more respect. But they finally made one of the Spurs. So I picked that up. Also picked this very nice Champs booklet up of Tim Duncan. I love I love that card. I love how the great jerseys go good with the background as well. I think it's a splendid card to have. Uh, and I also picked this up a very nice uh, finals game two booklet of Kawhi Leonard. We lost that game by the way in the 2014 finals, but we, we won three straight games after that, so that's what matters most. But very very cool card. Um, all right, these next three cards, very excited to show you guys. Finally made a trade. Haven't made a trade in such a long time. Uh, I traded one of my Kobe Bryant autographs for this card. Beautiful two-color patch. Um, nice on-card autograph of none other than Kyrie Irving. Very cool card if you check out the patch on that. Very, very nice. Uh, the glare is coming from the... The sleeve, obviously, but very, very cool card. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Very nice. Um, these next two cards, extremely happy to get them for my PC. You have no idea. Beautiful cards to look at. Just stunning patches. From 1314 Flawless, number 1 of 25, uh, Kawhi Leonard. Very nice patch. Him in his, uh, obviously, his championship uniform right there. Uh, just the patch is stunning. Uh, the whole, practically the whole S from the Spurs logo. So very, very nice uh, card right there. And last but not least, for my 1314 Immaculate set, I already have three of these cards. This is the first Logos card I have. It's numbered one of four of my main man, Ginobili. Modern Ginobili. The patch is simply just stunning. The whole S, uh, the whole S practically, and this just crazy card. Very short print, number to four. Very very nice. So pick those up from the blowout forums. That's uh, a special shout out to Ravi. 
Uh, Rabbi, if you don't know who he is, he collects a lot of high-end patch cards. Uh, and just simply go check him out. I'll leave this link in the description. Um, very, very great guy. Very trustworthy guy. I, And the thing is, oh man, just... Again, he's one of the few people on, on Blowout Forums who waited for my payment. I asked him if he could give me an extension, and he did. And, you know, I'm so thankful for that. So, <sighs> thanks again, Rebby. I appreciate it, man. You have no idea. So, thanks again. Um, okay, guys. Last but not least, before you all get bored, let me show you the last of my national pickups. Uh, these are all Spurs pickups I picked up at the National. Not too much Spurs stuff was out there, but was fortunate to find this booklet. Uh, Timmy Duncan, very, very, very beautiful card from last year's Preferred. Uh, just simply a uh, splendid card. Breaks all over the place and just a nice card to have. Obviously, it is outdated because he is a five-time camp champion now. So, very, very sweet card to say the least. Uh, also, I was going patch crazy for Tim Duncan, and I found this one as well. Been wanting to pick up this card for such a long time, uh, just to give you a zoom in look at it. If you look at the top patch card, there's practically two colors in that little white jersey at the very corner right there, and then just breaks all over the place. Just one sick card of Tim Duncan. That is number 25. Uh... Next up, I picked this up, very, very cheap price. Uh, unfortunately, David Robinson autographs are going, are selling very cheap nowadays. So I picked this up from National Treasures, number 260. Nice on-card auto jumbo jersey of David Robinson. Sick card, to say the least. Uh, last but not least, well, sec oh, I got two more cards, actually. I guess I'll show off this one. I picked this Tim Duncan autograph up at a very good price. You can barely see the Duncan auto. But it's a dual autograph, Tim Duncan and Jason Williams. Uh, nice on card from Top Stadium Club, I believe. Uh, very, very nice card right there. Got that for steal, in my opinion. And uh, last but not least, a lot of people may not think that this is a very big card, but it is a PSA Gem Mint 10 on card autograph of my main man, Manu Ginobili. Now, I have the regular version that's not graded or anything, and I decided to go ahead and pick this one up just because I wanted to pick up another Ginobili autograph. So, beautiful card. Uh, again, he hasn't signed too much, doesn't have many autographs out there, and of course, I'm always looking for them. Uh, but, man, beautiful, beautiful card. <sighs> again, not too many Spurs cards that were up there. I did find a collector who was selling, he had several Tim Duncan autographs, but selling for way too much and uh, yeah guys that is it really that is my national recap some mail and blowout cards and and panini stuff and um, it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun I just wish I had more time on the floor it seemed like the second day I was there I was in line the whole time because of course I was meeting three players stay tuned for a other video I'm, I'm gonna show off some of the stuff that I picked up uh, as, you know, regarding the photographs, I'll show uh, some videos off as well of Iverson and, you know, Scotty Pippen and stuff. So, all right, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all take care. Stay tuned.